My name is uh, Toure, Toure Metric. Um, some say I'm an artist, singer, rapper. Some say I'm a painter. But let's just say that I'm an artist. I think that I'm an artist. Um, I like everything that's creative. Everything that's creative since I was like a child. I like Picasso, I like Salvador Dali. I like Tupac Shakur, I like Michael Jackson. I like, I like people who are creative. And um, my art experience started when I was like 15. When I started drawing um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Donald Duck, um, imitating Picasso's art and everything. I really, I really liked that because it, it, it gives me like, um, let's say, another type of inspiration, you know? And um, that's when it really started going, you know? Because even though I like music, but art was like something very different. It was, it, it gave me another type of energy, another type of inspiration, just like I said. And um, after that, I, I decided after school, after graduating, of course, you know, to go in art school, start learning arts. And um, it was a very good experience, too, because I, I had like two, let's say I had two choices in my life, because I had the chance to grow up in the United States, in Washington, D.C., and I'm from Ivy Coast, West Africa. And the choices that I had was rather I had to learn USA art or go back in Africa and learn African art. So I made that choice. I finally made that choice. I went back to Ivory Coast, which is my homeland, the motherland. And uh, it was cool. It was quite cool because I had those, I had those, um, let's say that it was another type of inspiration too because when I look at Picasso's art, and I look at what the international art is, I see that uh, everything comes from Africa. Everything comes from Africa. And no doubt, when I see African artists and when I see what's going on in, in the art world right now, it really comes from Africa. And I try to combine those two experiences that I had between those that USA one and that um, African one. And it made my style, my style that I call Trace. And Trace, Trace is cool. Trace, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I say cool, is like I put that young energy in it. But um, Trace is uh, a kind of a mix. People say that I, I'm kind of familiar with, uh, of of Basquiat, Jean Michel Basquiat's art because it's we kind of grew up in the same same environment. You know, streets, urban, hip hop. You know, basketball, football, and that's that's the kind of heritage that that I'm living. You know, because I'm. Let's say that I'm universal. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of artist who's universal. And it gives me, you know, um, let's say I'm a kind of a future artist. I'm a kind of a future artist. And um, I really appreciate when, when, when people tell me that um, they see Jean-Michel Basquiat on me because we're, we're like doing the same job, kind of the same, um, um, voice voice of the streets and when I say the streets I mean of course you people who don't have that um, opportunity to, to talk people who only have that opportunity in walls and what I do in, in my art is not only speak to the youth but speak to the entire world we say I'm an African I'm proud to be an African but besides that I'm talking to the world and of course, I talk about all what happening, what's happening in African societies and in um, my everyday life. But what I what I try to do is really speak to the world with my my experience, what I live and what I lived. And um, yeah, <laughs> I, I think we can walk. I think we can walk. <laughs> so um, it's it's um, 
it's 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 always kind of fun talking about about my art because it comes to bring me back when I was when I was a child. Um, I always thought I always knew that I was going to be an artist, but not that that child childish style artist. You know, I kept that childish style that I had. That's that's why I call it trace because it, it leaves it leaves traces. You know. Traces from the past and traces maybe from the future, you know. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, um, I, I'm saying it again. I'm, I'm, I'm really like that future artist, you know. I'm really like that future artist, and from the from the past, present, and and future. And um, my theme are, are are really varied, you know. I I paint about animals. I paint about everyday life. I I paint about um, what's happening right now? I can see that there's like Ebola in the West Africa, and I think everything's everything that's bad right now is everything that's in, in Africa right now is really bad, and I, I feel kind of sad because here in Africa we have like here right now I'm in, in Morocco. Look at what's happening. You know, people are like really happy. People are playing, and you have to you have to I really have to you know create that joy in my paintings too. You know, not only negative things. You know, and um, my projects, really, my real, my, my big time projects, is like to combine happiness and well, sadness, and give it to the world because that's what's Africa. You know, Africa is is the two of them. And um, me, as as the youth, I think that uh, I'm the best way. I I have the best way to promote that. You know. And by my music and by my arts, and by trace, I mean I'm leaving the trace for you know the other generation to see that um, there's positivity in Africa. So thank you very much. Um, I'm Troy Mederick again, and um, see you very soon. And thank you for appreciating my art. And um, I think that art is life. I really like this artwork. It's it's magic. Um, I called it. We need more love. I think I did um, about two or three days working this one, and um, what I try to do with this one is try to combine two characters, a male and female, and um, of course my crude way of doing people, you know, with big eyes and you know hairs and everything and. But the main idea is uh, to see the inside of everyone, you know? And this one, I call it We Need More Love because what I see now in this world is that there's not enough love. There's too much hate, too much envy, too much jealousy, um, too much people hurt. And I thought that there's like this little extra love that we needed, you know, that love from from a child and this artwork was, was was very special for me because I I try to you know take each words that I like to hear from people you know like like amour in French um, partager um, uh, union you know all those nice words I I try to put it in this in this one and even you and me you know you and me so so respect those are the words that i really like to hear and we need more love and this 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 work was like really special for me and besides the fact that i work with you know bright colors you know nice yellow nice red uh nice blue and there's a color that i like i really like this color because in french it's called couleur saumon it's a little like pink it but it's not, it's not pink but you know it's really nice to see you know it's it's like food for the eyes and i really like it <laughs> oh my gosh this one is really special you know it's a really special one besides the fact that it's of course it's a big large canvas but uh i call it the holy dinner and uh I'm kind of, I think that I'm engaged in a sort of a way, but I'm not really engaged. But my opinion 
for me in in religion is uh, is really basic. You know, uh, this one is is called the holy dinner because I try I try my best to um, uh, have the scene of Jesus Christ when he was with his you know other um, people that followed him and he was having a dinner and what I try to do with this one is put a single apple in the middle uh, and that's the only dinner they have uh, you can interpret it I mean you can put that this way I think that um, the apple the apple um, defines sin you know and for me Adam and Eve had that apple, you know. They ate that apple, and <laughs> from 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 that, you know, from that particular part of history, um, that's when sin started coming in the world. And I think that it's it's really kind of a simple way of thinking um, to put your life in only an apple, you know. That's why this apple is like single in the middle of this of, of this table. And I think that it's, it's, it's really questionable, you know? It's really questionable because me, myself, I, in my opinion, I think that religion is good but bad at the same time because I think that it doesn't really, it doesn't really um, make you work your mind, really, because you only follow what's been written before, you know? But I think that you, you have to, you know, things... It's not about. It's not that I think about evolution, of course, but I think that you know things, you know, you moves on. You know, the, from the generation of the past is not the same from my generation. You know, which means that the mind of the past is it's not going to be the same like in my generation and the future generation. So I think that on, to put your faith in only an apple, um, well, it's, it's it's questionable. That's why this 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 one is called the holy dinner. And there's a whole lot of, of question in this one. Um, there's contradiction, of course. There's secret, pray, and this I put like um, only an apple. <laughs> it's 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 really a question mark, you know. It's it's, it's really a question. Um, there's million of years that I try to incorporate in this in this artwork, and <laughs> I mean every time I look at this this one. It's, there's always one question that I have in, in my in my head. It's like, um, do you really have to base your faith on an apple or Adam and Eve, or do you really have to you know live your own experience and see what life's life gives you? You know, uh, there's so much things that you need to know in this life or in, in, in nature and everything. So I think that it's 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 questionable. It's questionable. So. <laughs> Oh, now this one, this one was like this, the first, my first art prize that I won. And this art, this piece was called um, Eyes of the World, in French, Les Yeux du Monde. Um, I think I did this one when I was maybe 20, I was 20 years old. And uh, I had this inspiration that I called skull painting. It was a, a combination of sculpture and painting at the same time and I, I, I try to you know put it in one piece of canvas you know one kind of canvas and the theme is called eyes of the world because I think that each eyes of each individual people are special even though it looks the same but I think that we have that spirit inside and I, I really try to captivate those eyes in my work and I call it the Zio du Monde because you can read you can really read the spirit of somebody when you look at his eyes you know it's funny how an eyes can the eyes the human eye can reflect in an emotion rather you're sad happy you know joy you know it's it's it I really tried it and maybe that's how maybe that's how I got this price because um, when you look at it you sort of look at your eyes your own eyes and you know although there's like a bunch of eyes inside but you, you, you know you sort of look your eyes and <laughs> it was really kind of good, a good experience, and I got really lucky. You know, I got I got a big prize, West Africa prize from Senegal, and uh, it was a Paris competition in Senegal, and 
I was really, I was really, really glad. And that was the part when I really started, you know, to have my own style of painting. Uh, like I said, I got really inspired by different type of artists like Picasso, Salvador Dali, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and I think that uh, it's those inspiration, those combination of different styles that, you know, that give me the style that I have today that's called Trace. And um, I feel really grateful for this one, the human eyes. <laughs> I like it. Oh my god, this one, I think that this one is my, it's not my all-time favorite, but it's one of my favorites. I call it horse. Oh, I really like the horse. You know, the, the horse is, is really, really beautiful animal. From his shape, you know, his skin, his hair, it's, his strength, the muscles and everything. It's, it's crazy how I, I got to work this one because I wanted like to put a horse in my, in my, in my piece. And at the same time, not a horse uh, that everybody knows, you know, but a horse with something inside him, you know, a whole history inside him. And I try to put the, you know, that big red, you know, and in, uh, in the back just to show his movements, you know. And uh, there's, there's, there's too much thing inside. It's, it's, it's a whole history, you know, from, from, uh, from what what we did to the horse, from from what people see to the horse, people see strength. You know, there's uh, female who like horses for the the beauty of it, the class, the the, the classic. You know, because you, you know the horse is 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 one of the how can I put that is it's an animal who has a lot of class, a lot of class, and. Um, I I try to put this put that in its artwork and it's it, it's funny how it it's it, it, it reacts to the human eye because it's it's not it's not only beauty but it's like there's a message message inside you know I didn't I didn't really put words but I put symbols inside you know from from you know um, newspapers cuts you know magazines cuts. Um, Domino symbols, eyes, and it's 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 really it's a really cool artwork. And this one was in my solo show in Spain, and I think I think that it had a lot of success, really a lot of success. This this one was called a horse, of course, but uh, my Spain show was called um, Traces of Humanity, you know, because just like I said before. Uh, trace is like it's like um, my part of doing something to this world I leave traces you know there's like traces from the past and traces from the present and traces from the future and in my artworks I try to you know put all that inside and I think that horse really you know really put that in words you know it really on words and pictures you know so it was sure one of my favorites. I really like horse, and I hope I hope I hope you're gonna like it too. <laughs> oh, please, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. I'm innocent. <laughs> this this one um, is kind of a special too because I. I got this one from an information in, in the United States and you know in the whole world. Um, the police is is doing at the same time a good job and a horrible job, a really horrible job. Because once you start shooting to, you know, to sh once you start shoot at people, you know, it's like you're not really uh, you're in danger. You know, the police is is supposed to you know save you, not shoot you, you know, and what I see is that people are not really free, you know, because since there's like guns everywhere, and I'm like, wow, is it the police that's gonna, that's supposed to shoot me, or, sh or shoot, you know, uh, you know, killers or, or something, I don't know, but the, the apple that I, that I put in, in the middle, half half eaten you know it's it's like half eaten 
or a bite you know it's like um, there's something wrong in this society there's something really wrong in the society and um, the bite is gonna take you know easily take step by step it, it, it's like it's gonna how can I put that it's gonna people are really gonna start you know fearing cops I mean the police and once you stop fearing the police uh, you know you're gonna start to have another police and that other police is you you know and nobody's gonna start doing their job and that's that's really scary that's and that whole red that's that big red is I can say kind of a blood but it's not really blood but I can see that it's, it's like blood in the city you know that's why you got all these buildings and, and you know there's my character doing living his two hands and saying please don't shoot because I'm not really free you know and um, I put symbols inside like uh, hands up hands up people are not really saying hands up no more that's why I crossed it there's no more hands up there's it, once they shoot you know uh, a lot of killing I put it in this word there's a buildings there's symbols of course and this question mark um, yeah and I put et alors in French it means quoi donc you know it's, it's like what do you expect from people pe pe people are not people are not killers they only, they only want to live and have their own uh, you know opinion and it's kind of sad because this artwork is is, is besides the fact that it's, it's, there's the beauty inside but it's really kind of sad that's why I called it please don't shoot I'm innocent so um, yeah <laughs> so this 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 one is called Please Don't Shoot and it was um, in my Spain exhibition it, it had a lot of success and uh, yeah so thank you very much for for taking this time you know to um, to know me like I said I'm I'm part of the, I'm this I'm from this generation who wants who wants to have like this uh, not only not only being an, an engaged artist but be a symbol you know a symbol from an international view I'm an African but I think that I'm worldwide and um, thank you very much um, keep on following my my traces <laughs> since I I <laughs> I create that that you know um, signature that's called trace thank you very much for following me I have a whole lot to show and uh, see you very soon and hope, hope I'm going to come to your city one day and have a show. Thank you very much.